It's story time with Auntie Monique. The story of Jacob, the trickster tricked, Genesis 28 to 29. Laban welcomed his sister's son, Jacob, and made him stay with them and their two daughters, Leah and Rachel. Jacob helped by looking after his uncle's flocks. I should be paying you for all your hard work, Uncle Laban said one day. I do not want any wages, Jacob replied. If you let me marry Rachel, I will work seven years for you without pay. Jacob loved Rachel so much that seven years of hard work seemed a small price to pay in order to have her as his wife. When the seven years were ended, a great marriage feast was arranged. Nightfall, in the darkness, Laban brought Jacob his bride. But when the next morning dawned, Jacob found that the woman he had married was not Rachel, but Leah. Jacob, who had tricked others, had been tricked himself. When Jacob complained bitterly to Laban, he told him that it would have been unfair to Leah for her younger sister to be married first. If you wait until this week's celebrations are over, Laban promised, you shall marry Rachel as well, but you must work another seven years for me in payment. At that time, men often had more than one wife, in spite of the jealousy and the quarrels that it caused. So both sisters were married to Jacob. After a while, Jacob also took their two maidservants to be his wives. As the custom then was, Jacob soon had many sons. But Rachel, the wife he loved so dearly, had no children. Rachel was bitterly jealous of Leah because of all the sons she had. And Leah was very unhappy because Jacob did not love her. Long last, Rachel had a son and called him Joseph. After Joseph was born, Jacob planned to leave Laban. But the flocks had grown so large since Jacob had looked after them that Laban persuaded him to stay, offering him wages at last. Jacob asked to have, for his own, any black lambs and speckled goats in the flock. Laban readily agreed, for there were not many like that. But when many black and speckled ones were born, Laban was cross and tried to cheat Jacob by changing his agreement. But however often Laban cheated Jacob, God made him successful, and soon, he had not only made Laban rich, but had become a wealthy owner of flocks and herds himself. One night, God told Jacob to return to his home in Canaan. Next day, while Laban was away, he and his wives, their children, and all the animals got ready to set off on the journey. They would go back to the land God had promised to give Jacob's descendants in time to come. In the next episode, we will be covering the story of Jacob, the strange wrestling match. Have a blessed day.